everyone, it's Libby from Meister Tarot. I'd like to acknowledge the Waramai First Nations people on whose traditional lands these videos are made and welcome to you, your guides, my guides of the universal energies. Promise, last video for the day uh, and then I'm on to the private readings. Uh, so thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me. Um, entertainment only doesn't mean it's entertaining, it just means it's a legal requirement. And I want to have a look at um, gun laws of all things in the US. So what's happened in Michigan is that uh, the parent, I did write her name down here somewhere, um, has been... Uh, the parent of Ethan in Michigan, 15-year-old at the time, uh, has been found responsible for manslaughter, faces up to 60 years in prison for her and her husband buying their underage son a handgun, not securing that handgun appropriately. Uh, the son then took the gun to school and killed four uh, four of his peers at school. The husband's case starts this month. I didn't look to see what date. The defence for the wife, uh, so she's been found guilty of manslaughter. Uh, she's blaming the husband for not securing the gun. She's blaming the school for not reporting his behaviour. However, it has come out that the, she was advised by the school that her son had been Googling on his phone how to buy information, uh, buy ammunition, I'm sorry, buy ammunition. Uh, oh, boy, it's not looking good for her. Buy ammunition, uh, and she had texted to the son, oh, you silly goose, don't get caught doing that. Not what the bloody hell are you doing? And uh, the school had also advised the parents that he had been had drawn a bloodied figure uh, while in class as well. And then she's blaming her son, saying, well, I can't be responsible for my son's actions. <laughs> so um, it's not look honestly, it's not looking good for her. I think she's going to do some serious time he, the son, I believe, is up for life imprisonment for what he did, even though he was under age at the time. I might have the quickest, quickest of looks. Uh, in reg uh, I'm feeling that the husband's going to receive the, the same uh, result as the wife. I'd like to see what was his name, Kyle Ritten, Ritten Verbs or whatever is Rittenhausen's mother brought up on similar charges, buying her underage son a gun and actually driving him too. But I just want to see, is this the start of a change in gun laws in the US? Those of us in other countries who have really strict gun laws enjoy our freedom. We can go to church, school, shops, wherever, cinemas, without any concerts, without fear of getting school, without university, without fear of our lives. Um, so we just we, we just shake our head and say, what? Um, however, that's my little soapbox. I'll hop off it. I just want to see whether this is going to be the start, the start, of some significant gun reform, holding the parents responsible. Is this, it's not the first time it's happened, but this is the big publicity case. Is there going to be, because I think the first one was when a seven-year-old or something took his father's gun to school and shot some classmates, but this is the one where they actually bought the gun for the sun, and there were warning signs that they ignored. So, show me is this the beginning of a change? Please, please let it. Yeah, I've got a puppy dog asleep there. Ah, uh, strength there is strength in this case, but it's also feminine strength. The strength of women saying enough. If you think about the marches that women have done in, in regards to this, the mums against guns. Ah, uh, challenged by, so is this a new beginning? Well, yes, it is. Challenged by uh, surrendering, but new boundaries being put in place. So yes, but not yes, if that makes sense. Um, 
there's going to be some new new legislation put in place, but it's all it's still going to kowtow to the gun lobby to a degree. It is time. It is time. The karmic moment that change comes in the past, literally uh, an ability, inability to act, uh, feeling of being suspended and stopped in the wake of the moneyed getting their way. And I'm talking when I'm saying money, I'm talking the NRA, the NRA who apparently we, we now find out or have found out was in the pay of the Russians. Um, yeah. An inability to move forward is in the past. Crowning this reading, an offer being made, is it the beginning of a change? Yes. But beware the false knight bearing gifts as well, but the star in the immediate future, the star of hope and healing and peace and democracy and all that is good. Externally, Disappointment in that whatever this is won't go as far as a lot would like. Like I'm talking the majority. What is it? 70-something percent of Americans want really stringent gun laws brought in as a bare minimum, you know, background checks. It will not go as far as some would like, but there's two cups still standing here. So look at what will be gained. It's going to be a baby steps thing. It's like uh, it's like everything at the moment. We need to take climate change, moving to renewables, um, uh, women's rights, etc. It is baby steps that will culminate step by step. Internally, yeah, the addiction, the addiction to the gun culture and the toxicity of it is what is uh, going to cause this sort of. Uh, helicopter going overhead, this not going as far as some would like, hopes and fears, the voters, please get out and vote, the outcome, the protection of families, that's the core fundamental of it. A lot of skilled work going on behind the scenes to draft legislation, but there needs it needs to come to the floor. Uh, it is a crossroads moment. Do we keep doing what we're always doing, which leads nowhere, or do we move forward into the light? Because there is this collective awakening bringing about a judgment, and then we have significant you start in regards to stability, security, protection, um, uh, he and healing. So. We've got those who have feathered their nest in regards to guns, but then we've got the Biden administration. I do see that, um, oh boy, here we've got the oligarchs will be forced to defend themselves in regards to this emotional overwhelming. They'll find it a heavy burden. End of end of their messaging, and I'm talking the NRA and the good guy with the gun beats a bad guy. No, they don't. They don't. The good guy, the bad guy with the gun, do you really think some some dude's going to stand up there and say, I've got a gun too, and get himself shot? No, they don't. They don't. They duck for cover like everybody else. The messaging is going to become too burdensome and it is going to bring an end to this oligarchal um, money-funded gun policy types. You get what I mean. You get what I mean. Times are a-changing. I have seen that uh, the first step will be taken after the election once the um, Biden administration wins both houses but it is going to take at least two cycles before any real change, like there will be baby steps like the reintroduction of background checks or something, but it will take uh, a couple of 
government cycles uh, before real reform occurs, which is a bit sad that it's going to take so long because we're looking at at least eight to nine years and I'm hearing decade in my head, so that would work out about right. So let's have a look. Will it become federal that parents are responsible for underage killings? Will it become a federal law? Will it, okay, will other states take up, will other states take up the responsibility of parents, the accountability of parents for underage gun issues? No other way to put it really, is there? Authentic reform is coming. A significant ending to how things are and a new beginning. So that's yes. Yes, the challenge is going to be uh, some verbal backlash, <clears throat> but it is only a page trying to bring their message forward. Uh, I'm really getting it's a, it's a walking towards a new. It can be the walking away, emotionally walking away, leaving behind the emotions, walking away. But I'm also getting that it is an emotional subject and it's a new walking towards. Not all cups are upright, means not all states, but it's a new journey, a new path that is going to be taken. It, yeah, it was a legal crossroads. Can't believe it took this so so long for actually this sort of legal action to come to place. Um, but the blindfold's been taken off. This is in the past. Crowning this reading, the birth of something significantly new, a new beginning, a significant new beginning and a new way. Uh, yeah, immediate future justice. I think the father's going to be found guilty of manslaughter as well. Uh, actions holding people accountable, actions having consequences, the strength of the legal system. Uh, externally, oh, yicky, 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 yeah, this energy. Uh, that's going to try and fight back. Um, I have, they're going to come and take my guns. No, they're not. They're my gun right. I have a right. <laughs> You have a history of domestic violence and and uh, mental health, and no, you do not have a right to own a gun. But, yeah, this toxicity, the masculine toxicity, and I don't understand why they think it's macho to have a gun. Uh, I really, really don't. But anyhow, you know my opinion on that. Internally, an offer being made, so are other states going to pick it up? Some of the macho states are not going to, but others are going to bring this forward. Here we've got the star of hope and healing and possibilities. The outcome, yeah, the light being shone on the snake in the past. Yep. Are other states going to come up, pick it up? There may even be some states that we go, holy crumbs, did they? And then we have the three of cups celebration, women coming together and celebrating. Yeah. Uh, four of Pentacles, work going on behind the scenes, something that's still, that some states don't want revealed, but we've got the Biden administration here. Um, loss, disappointment, baby steps. And, uh, and an ending, a significant ending and a new start. Oh, with the ending and a new start with the government. Yeah, significant new start, harsh truth that's going to bring about an ending and it is time and it is way past time. So, yeah, I do think this is going to be a, quite a significant case in in, chain, in bringing about change. I do see other states 
uh, getting on board with it and bringing similar charges. Uh, I don't see huge federal change. Um, change comes from community, local upwards rather than dictatorship authorities down. Uh, so the change will start on local levels, community levels, uh, state levels, and then move up to the federal level. So, yeah, uh, it's time. It's way past time. Take each step as a celebration. It'll be a move in the right direction. It just won't happen fast enough for some of us. Stay safe. Look after yourselves, and I'll catch you on Monday. Love to you all.